All right, uh, we have a, I think this is a um, Amazon, yeah, Amazon Echo. I think this is the second generation. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was gonna do a quick tear down today. Let's see what's inside. I don't know if you can spooge this thing. This thing, spooger, spudger? Spudger, I guess, spudger. I don't know if you can spudge these things open or there's a, there's a uh, something on the bottom. Uh, is there a big label on the bottom that we have to tear off? I don't, I don't know how they, how they ma manage to build these things. Let's take the, there's a rubber, there we go. There's a rubber thing on the bottom. And yeah, there's a bunch of Torx bits in there. Can I get into this thing? Wow, that thing's tough. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Wow. There's a piece of Lexan or something in there. Let's see if this hex bit is the right size. Oh, I guessed right. Excellent. Let's see, is this on or off? This is off. All right. Lots of screws. Well, four, I guess it's not a lot. Oh, there we go, ooh. Okay, here we go, here we go. So this lifts off, and this is just plastic with uh, stuff on it. Here's the top board with the little dimple, uh, the, uh, what do you call those things, the clicky, clicky switches. Uh, let's see here, what else is in here? Okay, oh, that's on a little flex cable. Very nice. I don't know if we can pull that out. Oh, wow. A lot of uh, circuitry on this. And here's all of the LEDs. It makes LEDs make colors and it makes a swirly pattern and stuff on when it's running. I probably should have plugged it in. But um, it's not what I was really interested in. I want to see how this thing's built. All right, let's see what's inside here. Spacer. Uh, another piece of rubber. That's interesting. I wonder why there's a piece of rubber. A uh, big metal piece because it has to be, it has to be weighted. Oh, and more circuitry. So there we go. Here's the business end of it. And there we go. So big piece of cast aluminum to weight it down. Sorry about the washing machine back there. Um, and there's a little can here that's probably the Wi-Fi part. They just have it under a can. Looks like we can peel that off, actually. There we go. So I don't know if that was Wi-Fi or just to keep the EMI from mucking with everybody. Yeah, I think it was just for EMI. There's a little heat sink pad here. So that probably the chip there that does all the business. Biz business. Uh, okay, so should I change lenses? And we'll take a look at all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, this, this board is pretty complicated. And the little uh, ribbon cable goes both ways. Yeah, it's an interesting ribbon cable too. We'll take a look at that. All right, let's change lenses. All right, this is the board with all of the LEDs around the outside. There's the uh, part number. 
and it's got a bunch of got a bunch of parts on it. Let's see if I can read any of those. Uh, I can read any of those part numbers. S3207 is that one. And these guys are, geez, way too small. I'll have to uh, look under a microscope for those. There's a little crystal there. Wow. Okay. And like I said, here's a little, little switches underneath. Yeah, let me, um, let me read these off under the microscope and I'll, I'll, I'll put text here. I'll, I'll figure out what they are, put text in this video. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one's pretty busy. Uh, here's a micro SB, micro USB, and a bunch of uh, bypassing mostly on this side, except for that one chip there. And again, I'll try to read that off. And then these guys, so we got some big bruisers here for doing all the processing. I think these things sell for pretty cheap because Amazon just wants your money. So they just give these away at, probably at a loss. Um, but I don't know if you can repurpose them into anything. I, that's why I always rip things apart. If you could repurpose it, and use it for something else. But yeah, there's some Wi-Fi antennas uh, built into the sides here. You can see that there's a an antenna on this side and an antenna on this side on the board. That's interesting. Whoa. Anyway, oh, and I wanted to show you the uh, flex connector because it's interesting. It's uh, some fine and fat traces and somebody decided which ones needed to be fine and which ones needed to be fat and which ones needed to be interdigitated. So yeah, that's pretty wild and pretty high density little little connector there too. I hadn't seen that. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then the back, oops, ah. oops I just dropped it on the ground. The, the back was, uh, the back was just solid, uh, solid copper. So yeah. Anyway, that was a, uh, uh, Amazon Echo.